double money equals to 100. Total number of $10 bills. What should I do? Just divide money by 10, and that'll give me the total number of $10 bills, right? Now comes the next problem. When you're giving the total number of bills, you don't really use a decimal number, you use an integer number. But since one of the two values is of type double, it does that. There is, a easy, there is an easy fix for that. And the easy fix it, we call it an explicit type casting or forced casting. You can now force the value to be converted from double to an integer by using an int in parentheses right outside the calculation. So you're forcing to drop the decimals. That's called the explicit casting or forced casting. Okay. Now, if I change the dollar amount to 108 and I run it, you'll be like, well, you still have 10, $10 bills, right? I want to now figure out the remaining $8 that are left over out of the 108, because the first 100 were equally divided in 10, so that $100 is gone. How can I pull out the remaining eight? That's where the modulus operator comes in. So I will now use a variable. We're gonna call this one rem equals to zero. So the rem is my remaining amount, which is money, modulus 10, that means after the money gets divided by 10, what is the remainder? That remainder will be stored inside REM. Okay. So in the REM, what I will do is total number of $5 bills. So in the REM, I will just simply divide by five. So now it will tell me, okay, there are, there is one $5 bill. Let's test this. Okay, total number of $5 bills, one. Total number of $10 bills, 10. So that's 105. That leaves me with $3. Repeat the process. Repeat the process. This time, you will calculate the REM, okay, which will not be money percentage 10. Why not money? Because money is still 100. So we're going to do REM percentage five, because we want out of eight, the remaining $3, and it's the REM that holds the eight. So from the eight, if you do eight modulus five, you will be left with three. So total number of $1 bill, and that will be whatever is the value of REM, which is three. Are you guys up for a challenge, an improvement to the same code? Okay, so, and then you will be able to solve the problem. So what I'm, I'm asking you to do is make changes to this code. So instead of fixing it at 108, I want you to accept the total dollar amount from user. And instead of only giving the, uh, 10, five and $1 breakout, give 50, out of the remaining give $20 bills, out of the remaining give $10 bills, out of the remaining give five, out of the remaining give one. It is possible for you to have zero $50 bill if you, let's say if you put 23. So in 23, there is zero $50, there's one $20, zero $10, zero $5 and, one, and, and two $1 bills. So that's basically how the breakout will be. Similar logic. And the remaining ones will be 
wraps. Yeah. Okay. So there is there is there are three one there are fifty three fifty dollar bills. There are three of those. One twenty dollar bill, zero ten dollar bill, and then one five dollar bill and two one dollar bills. Right. 